Hello guys, today I will show you some useful PHP Storm keyboard shortcuts in two topics. First is how to find something, find the class, find the file, something. And then second one is how to navigate through PHP file more conveniently. So let's begin. First is how to find the file. If you open PHP Storm and not open any file, here's the first shortcut for you. Go to file. And I'll show it on my MacBook, but pretty similar keyboard shortcuts are on Windows. Just look in documentation on Windows. So if you go Command Shift O, we can search for any file. In my case, it's Welcome Blade, for example. But if you want to add specific class, it can work without a shift. So Command O, and you can find a class like Home Controller or User Controller. But if you want to find anything in all the project, the magic keyboard shortcut is shift shift double shift and then you can do whatever and as you can see it finds PHP files it finds classes files symbols and actions from PHP storm and even folders so for example then you can navigate to folder and open it also it's pretty useful to see recent files so command E shows you recent files you have opened and you can navigate to any of that so provider or something also, you can browse through history by clicking command square bracket. I'm not sure how it's officially called in English language. So, so you would go navigate back or navigate forward. So it's the same thing, just with keyboard shortcut, command bracket, back or forward. And if we click back multiple times, it's jumping through the same file, but in different locations that I visited. Or if it's different file, then it goes back and back and back all the things I've visited. Now, how to navigate inside the file. So for example, you found some PHP class and what are keyboard shortcuts to navigate it quickly. If you have a class with a lot of methods, probably the most useful shortcut is Command F12. It's the list of all the methods. So if you want to jump, so for example, you have a file with 200 lines or more or 500, this will show you the list of all the methods and you can go navigate between them. Then if you're inside of the method, you can click Command minus or command plus to expand or close that block or the whole method. So for example, here you click command minus or command plus. That's for example, when you want to skip that method for now and read something else. So that method text is kind of in your way, in the way of your eye. So you want to close it for now and then expand when you want to actually edit it. Finally, navigation between blocks can be triggered by command alt and square bracket. So you go to end of the method or beginning of the method. That's if your method is long enough. But it works for any block. So as you can see, I'm jumping to beginning of for each and end of for each. And if I click multiple times, I go to the beginning of for each, then beginning of the function, and then beginning of the class. So these are my favorite shortcuts to navigate inside of the PHP class. And finally, as a bonus, totally unrelated, my one of my favorite shortcuts of all the time, you just highlight any piece of code and click command slash. So quickly comment in or comment out some block of code. When you click it again, it's uncommenting. Or if you click comment shift slash, it's triggering some menu item, but also it's adding a comment block, not for every line, but just the beginning and the end. And also you can click it back comment shift slash and it's uncommenting. So these are my shortcuts for today. If you know more, add them in the comments so other people will use them. And also I've prepared a separate video about live templates, a function which I really love in PHP Storm. It saves me a lot of time. The video is in the corner, is how to use live templates and how to create your own live templates. So if you haven't done that, I totally recommend to watch that video. And to support this channel to get more useful free videos, you can subscribe to the channel, you can hit the bell button to be notified of new videos, and also you can visit and try our quick admin panel generator for Laravel admin panels. And the more people financially support that project, the more time I personally have to shoot videos like this one. See you guys in other videos.